Okay, I think somebody has gotten loose. No, are you pouting, little one? Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was only gone for one night, you guys. You should have had plenty of food, but apparently you didn't. So give me just a second. Give me just a second. Uh, the, the little cotton slimes have gotten into the carrot patch again, my friends. But how could you turn down these adorable little faces? <laughs> All right, here you guys go. Here you go. I'm sorry that apparently I did not have enough food for you. Let me go ahead and fill up on carrots. We'll have you guys fed up in a jiffy here. I just need to be very careful not to go ahead and toss in one of my new rescued orphan little chickadoos. All right, that should be plenty to keep you guys busy for a bit. We gather up a few more. Probably should have just put them in the auto feeder so they don't go bad, but at the rate that the cotton slimes seem to eat, I think we'll be fine. All right, and we'll pop back over here. And we'll set up some cotton slime breakfast. Maybe if I do it at a slower pace, they'll calm down a little bit. Ah, and there we go. All right. Well, hello, my friends, and welcome, welcome back to our adventures here in Slime Rancher 2, where we are returning home from a mildly unsuccessful mission. But you know what? I didn't end up completely scorched and dead in lava, so we're going to go ahead and call that a win. And we also managed to bring back a strange diamond I tossed in the refinery link on the run home, and a little orphan briar chick who popped out of the bushes at my feet and begged for a rest. Rescue. How could I turn this little one down? We are going to have it be raised with our wonderful bat slimes who, you know, only eat fruit. And uh, then it'll grow up and I have already named it on the way here. I gave it lots of little pets and I have decided to name it Ash after all of the ash that was around us at the volcano. Uh, we also managed to get a bunch of crystal slimes and we have a pair of partners in crime with these ringtail slimes. So these guys are apparently like thieves more or less thieves with huge appetites and apparently their deal is that they will actually continue to go ahead and eat even when they're not hungry and not give you any plorts in return but they will give you some plorts at least that's how i understand it so we're going to go ahead and give them their very own lockup inside of our cave and hopefully they will be happy uh it seems like they actually eat everything if i recall correctly let me double check on our sassy ringtail slimes. Yeah, they, they eat basically everything, but they don't have a favorite. So I think they're gonna be a little bit of a challenge to go ahead and raise, but I'm, I'm up for it. I am indeed up for a bit of a challenge when it comes to our ranching. Not like we're <laughs> master ranchers or anything, but I am beginning to feel a little bit more confident about everything. Oh, hello, Hinnin. And uh, speaking of feeling more confident about everything, I do need to collect up as much extra vegetables as possible because we are going to be going ahead and we're going to be trying to pop the crystal. There you are. We're going to be trying to pop the crystal gordo. So I'm pretty sure that guy might be sitting atop a geyser that Potentially, I could be completely wrong about this, but hey, trying to go ahead and make your best guess in the name of adventure is kind of what we're all about. If we get it wrong, no big deal. At least we enjoyed the adventure, right? So my theory is that the Crystal Gordo is sitting atop a geyser that we want to be part of in order to be launched from, from, like, the geyser. Bear with me here. We've got to go ahead and feed this Crystal Gordo Gordo a ton of vegetables so that we can go ahead and be launched from a geyser into the pool inside of a mountain where I think we might be able to find some of the deep brine. I could be completely wrong. That may sound like an absolutely kooky conspiracy theory. However, I think it's worth a try. So we're going to keep a whole bunch of these heartbeats. Especially because it seems like our hunter, uh, our runts, our hunter rocks, the runts, <laughs> are actually doing quite well. And we, um, we're going to have to revisit the question of what we're going to do when the time comes to go ahead and feed the boom slime that we saw guarding the entrance to a massive pair of ruins. Oh, uh, boom slimes only eat hen hens. And while that would be very difficult, 
maybe the advances we would be able to find hiding behind those ruins would be good for the sake of all slimes everywhere. All right. And how are you guys doing? Oh, you're hungry? Hang on. I brought you a friend. Are you okay, Ash? Oh my gosh, she's like cowering in the corner. You're going to be okay. These guys don't eat hen hen, so you should be just fine. And I'm going to gather up these cuberries. And I think I might also try upgrading this if we have enough money so that the cuberries will grow better and faster. And we can go ahead and feed our pair of bats. Or our trio of bats, I should say. Here, I'm going to grab a third one. There you go, guys! Enjoy, enjoy! I will try to get you guys a little bit more food. Do please take good care of Ash. I very much love them. All right, we'll grab these. Thank you very much. I very much love our, our itty bitty. Oh my gosh, did you see that tumble? Why are you so cute? Oh my gosh. Uh, and uh, let's find a good place for our crystal slimes. So we've got one, two, three more spots in here. Um, I think I'm going to put the things that are a little bit more kaboomy over in that corner and the things that could be a little bit more prickly over in this corner, which means we shall go ahead and build ourselves a corral with high walls and a, a auto feeder and a port collector. Yes, and we still have plenty left over for our crystal slimes. Hi guys, and actually, I. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get you something other than the pile of heartbeats that I have, but you guys will be really good over there. And then our ringtails, I think we're gonna go ahead and we'll put them in here. And I think we need to completely lock these guys up. Like high walls, let's see. So high walls, I think we need the air net. Mm. And then I think we need the auto feeder for sure and the port collector. All right, that was all our money, but I'm hoping it's going to be worth it for this pair of fine criminals, apparently. <laughs> Hi! So apparently you want to be careful and not be fooled because they will give you this song and dance of I am starving, feed me. Uh, and they actually aren't. Let's test this theory out with a cuberry. All right, see, so he's pretty happy right now. Maybe the other one really is starving, but now we have at least one ringtail port. I could, I could make ringtail bats. I probably want to make sure if I made anything that I, no, ringtail bats would eat ash. All right, we can only combine fruit and vegetable eaters with our baddie slimes because anything else will actually eat ash and that would be extremely devastating. Um, but I wonder if it would make sense to go ahead and mix the crystals and the bats together. That would be a lot of Largos though. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's think on that. No need to rush on making major decisions. Also, holy moly hunter ports. <laughs> I love how we still haven't really like found hunter slimes except for once and we kind of screamed grabbed its port and ran away <laughs> All right, so With the batty slimes uh, I, Actually, I think bat crystal slimes would be a good mix because we would be making a lot and we have we have the odd onions. We don't have the bat's favorite food, but I can just plant some odd onions where I have the cuberries instead. Uh, and I need to move the, no, I, I do have another cuberry garden, so we'd be okay there. Um, and the ringtails don't sell for that much, but I'm wondering if we might be able to go ahead and combine them with another type of slime. Uh, that sounds like I would definitely have a very troublesome mix, but I need to do it for the sake of science! Slimeology and pixel biology -ness, um, at some point, so we'll, we'll think about that. I think in the end of the day, if you just have a lot of ports, <laughs> and you remember to sell said ports, you're gonna be able to go ahead and, uh, get done whatever it is that you need to do. Alright, let's clear all those things away. We'll grab more of our hunter ports. Hmm, so should I just go ahead? You know what, we will go ahead. Mm. Yeah, because the crystal slimes won't eat ash, right? I'm gonna like triple check on that. Okay, hang on. Because I will be there sad. 
Yes, and they love odd onions, so I can go ahead and get the odd onion patch going. And then we'll have taken good care of our caves, which makes me feel pretty good about life. Um, really? Hi, guys! Letting me know that the tabby plorts are still worth quite a bit, too. I mean, maybe in aggregate, if not individually, you have a point. Uh, it's a, a penny a day. The slime hunger keeps away, I suppose. <laughs> What would you even do if you needed a vet for your slimes? Like, I, I, I just stunned myself speechless trying to think that thought through. Like, if you needed a slime vet, what would you do? I, how, I mean, maybe it's, it would be related to whatever they like ate. So maybe if you needed a slime vet, you would... Uh, oh, I can only carry 30. Oh, fine. Um, but maybe if you needed a slime vet, it would just be related to, like, the type of slime they are. I did not need to do that. There we go. And so, like, for rock slimes, maybe you would give them, like, more, um, more minerals? Maybe? Maybe you would give your, your wonderful tabby slimes, like, extra pets? Can slimes get fleas? Are there flea slimes? See, these are the kinds of questions that science demands answers to, and uh, that I'm pretty proud that we're going ahead and asking. Because has anyone else asked that essential question of if there happen to be, like, slime fleas? No? Probably never? Ever? In, in, all, of, in all of history, I might be the very first person to even think of that concept. Um, and that's what science is. Brave, brave new frontiers. Also, you guys, if you're not gonna eat your onions, I really need these to feed to a gordo, okay? I know you're not gonna be happy because you think they're your carrots, and technically they are. Did I call them onions? Look, you know what I meant. Don't tease me. <laughs> Sassy slimes. All right, let's go ahead and sell these. I do want to try upgrading our hen hen coop uh, before we head back out to try to go ahead and pop that gordo. Uh, so, let's go ahead and we're going to give the spring grass the elder collector is the thing I really want to put in. And then we're going to do spring grass and, um, maybe vitamizer. And then the other thing, oh my gosh. Whoa, that- what? Oh my gosh, is that like Jeopardy with hen hens? Okay, that's amazing. The other thing is, I think they stop laying eggs if there's so many of them. So, part of me wonders if like removing some of the roosteroos and- okay, look, I I'm willing to start admitting we may already have a hen hen overpopulation problem. <laughs> um, um, I mean, man, man, there are some decisions that just are not very easy to make at times. Uh, that's for sure. All right. All right. And these guys would eat all of the hen hens or all of the roosteroos without flinching, wouldn't they? Cause they'll they'll just they'll keep eating. Okay, okay. If we did that, we come back. Okay, I lost my nerve. You know what? The roosteroos will be. Oh my gosh, the rooster guard. Yes. <laughs> we shall have the rooster guard here in the um here in our our the depths of our home. All right, I'm good. Are you actually hungry? Okay, that guy was actually hungry. Let me grab this. Uh, did I give them food? I mean, I, they're supposed to trick you, but I really can't blame them. Okay, if you don't feed them in the first place, I could see how the whole the whole concept of like, but I'm actually hungry exists. Um, and let's go ahead and let's line up our crystal slimes with some of their favorite odd onions. I'm very happy that we have that for them. And then we're going to actually swap out Let's go ahead and remove the garden. 
I love how we get to collect all of the cute berries. That's very helpful. I might toss them. Uh, I might yoink the carrots and I might toss the cute berries in for our new new slimes. And then let's do sprinkler. There we go. So that this do that odd onion need one odd onion, please. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we'll plant an odd onion right there. And then that will grow food, I think, for basically everybody in here right now. Um, except for the fruit. Oh yeah, that's right, because we were actually going to go ahead and mix our body slimes and our crystal slimes. That's right. And they eat vegetables. Uh, the crystal slimes eat vegetables, the body slimes eat fruit. Hmm. I'm gonna put the cubeberries in here. All right, putting a bunch of crystals around our baby briar hen does sound a little dangerous, but I think that might be a good idea. Maybe we'll put, look, we're gonna grab a few of them. There we go. You know, I'm gonna grab three. We'll leave the rest for maybe testing. And I do think that bat crystal slimes would be a good idea. I, I'm not exactly sure what we would call them, I want it to be like a really cool name. Also, it's occurring to me, maybe I would want to go, I can't put the air net there. <laughs> I might want to install the air net on this whole situation. But I think this is an excellent partnership between shiny flying things. Like shiny, shiny flying diamond crystals. What could possibly go wrong with that, right? All right, so let's see. And the ring teleport. I am very excited to go ahead and start figuring out what the ring teleport would look like on other slimes. Like, I would love to do a test with like anglers and the ringtails now, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, let me go ahead and plunk this in here. Huh. All right. So, to recap, we now have given Ash, the baby briar hen, a safe place to live. We ha are going to have a combination of crystal and baddie slime that I definitely need to come up with a cool name for. We've got some crystal slimes for slime experiments, and we also have a couple ringtails, all locked up and ready to go. And we have figured out where we are going to start leaving the rooster guard. They will stay in the cave, and if something happens to them in the line of duty, so be it. Uh, and I need to just continue to collect a ton of vegetables to go ahead and give that gordo. We're still headed for the deep brine because we need all those upgrades. Oh, and apparently there's a message. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? I'm going to look at that in the morning because if I go to sleep, then in the morning it'll be like bre carrot breakfast time. How we have managed to start a tradition of carrots for breakfast, I don't know. Blame the cotton slimes. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you could, oh, that's adorable. That's the freaking mug that you can actually get as like fan merch. That's, that's meta adorable. <laughs> If you could, do please leave a like for a little Ash now hanging out with their new bat protectors. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!